Right, so it's very windy out in the garden today. I've nearly finished with the railway sleepers. I think we're all virtually done. Just need painting. We've uh, got some decking oil that do that job. So I've um, counter sunk them in. The screws, which are from Screwfix. I don't know what the American equivalent is. So there they are, timber screws. So yeah, counter sunk them. Screw them all in, so it's looking alright at the moment. I think I need to backfill over the other side of soil. Let's have a little look. Yeah, I've got a big pile at the bottom of the garden. I can uh, raise this high up a bit. I'm gonna, um, I think I might take the edge off. It's a bit sharp edges. Get the sand, get the sander out. Give them a nice. Take the edge off a bit. But um, one mistake I made was drilling down here, if you can see. When I was drilling down, I hit the uh, previous screw head on them going through. So uh, note to self, have make sure they're staggered if they're on top of each other. But it's not probably not going to see that because I think I'm going to put another one, another sleeper along the top, cut off at an angle. I was going to get rid of all this soil. It's going to be a lot of work. It'd just be easy to hide it for now with a sleeper. And attach that on. Set to do for now, and then give him a lick of paint. Then it's moving on to the second phase, which is patio slaps. So a bit undecided on what colour to go to grey or dark grey, porcelain. Who knows? I have to think about that. That's the next stage. Right. Have to do. For now, just a little update. I have finished putting all the last railway sleepers in, sanded down the top bits, and given them a, yeah, just one coat so far of the uh, screw fixes decking oil. I'm gonna just go over it again, do a second coat in a little while. So it's uh, coming along. I think we can call that sort of finished. Then uh, get around to uh, sorting out patio job. Right, I'll do for now. Hello, just a little update on the uh, patio. Coming along, got myself a cement mixer. I've got some nice 800 by 400 porcelain tiles. So I'm working my way along. First time I've ever done this, so it's a bit of trial and error, but yeah, not too bad. Getting there. And I have used primer slurry on the back of them as well, so we're all good there. So, uh, yeah, it's coming along, taking me forever. I think each wheelbarrow is, uh, <laughs> is uh, using up, one tile is using up like a whole wheelbarrow. I would have liked more of a dry mix, but it's a bit awkward on the old cement mixer. It's either too wet or too dry. <laughs> so it's a trial and error. But yeah, get in there eventually. So this is the progress so far. So uh, this is progress so far. Laying the uh, porcelain slabs. Using a slurry backing of course. That's a little bed of mortar down there. So I'm going to uh, offer it up, make sure it's the right height before I tap it down. Then uh, put some slurry on the back of it. So I've got a gap down there, I'm going to put st stones. So hopefully it should Equal gap either side, roughly, might not be perfect, but uh, well, I'm happy with it. So, yes, yeah, work so far. These are ones that are slightly damaged or ready to be cut in half. So, yes, lots to do. Very slow progress doing this, but I'll get there in the end. Right, a little update on the uh, patio build. I have Done this much with the slabs. Not too bad. A little bit of lippage here and there. But, uh, oh well, I'm not an expert. So I was going to leave a bigger gap down there, change my mind, fill it in with slabs. So we've just done the, just done the uh, recessed drain at the moment. A little bugger. That smack, smack out the old one. Get rid of the top layer of bricks and cement the new one in. So hopefully it's all level. Uh, yeah, 
Where's the old case cover? There it is down there. So yeah. So the next job is to uh, tile around this thing and then slab in the middle. Well, I've got the big slabs down first. So yes, coming along.